Hello and welcome to this video on single replacement reactions. So with a single replacement reaction we have some interesting things that occur. It, the reaction will not always happen. There have to be specific parameters around whether it will or will not happen and so it will only occur when the thing that's by itself, the single element, is more reactive than the comparable thing in the compound. And so for example in this generic model, A has to be more reactive than what it's going to replace. And in this case, that's going to be more reactive than B because this is the way that this one's shown. Now, it could actually happen a different way. And so we're going to take a look at a couple different um, aspects of it. So this is the only time that the reaction will occur. If the thing that's by itself is less reactive, then we will not see the reaction take place. So when we do this, um, it's always really important to understand that metals are going to replace nonmetals. Now the exception to that, okay, the exception to it being a metal, okay, is that hydrogen acts as an H plus. And so this is really about cations. So most reactive, and I should say cations. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Hydrogen can go in here. We don't see it in this list right now, but it can go in there. And so, for example, magnesium is more reactive than zinc. So if magnesium was by itself, it could replace zinc, but zinc cannot replace magnesium. This would not happen. Okay, and the same thing if we are comparing our um, anions or our halogens, so halogens can do this as well, the thing that would be replaced would be that non-metal. And so we see that the most reactive, so fluorine, let's do this, fluorine could replace bromine, but bromine cannot replace fluorine. That would not happen. So let's take a look at a couple examples of these. So here's that one with magnesium and zinc that I was just talking about. And so when we take a look at this, we know that magnesium is more reactive, and since it is the thing that's by itself, this reaction would occur. It can replace zinc in the compound, and so it does, and we end up forming magnesium chloride and displacing zinc. When we take a look at the the halogen um, or the nonmetal example of this, chlorine can't replace nickel. Chlorine has to replace bromine, and so when we look at this, chlorine is more reactive than bromine, so this could occur. Now the opposite would not occur. And so these are some examples of those, and we'll take a look at these more in class and get a little more experience with them. I hope that's helpful.